I was helping the sisters, mother and the sisters, to get a, physically to get a building ready to take in people with HIV AIDS in Washington, D.C. We had already taken in two, the first two um, gentlemen. And mother said, you will be the night volunteer, you will come tonight. And at the time I was in grad school and I was teaching grade school. I'm really busy. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do and I just can't, you will come, was it. She spoke in the imperative voice. She didn't ask, she always told. I put on an apron, I put on the gloves and I went into this room where there was this um, young man and he had been in a hospital neglected for over a month and a half. So he was very filthy. First I cleaned him up, I bathed him, his entire body. And I managed to uh, get a diaper on him. And, um, and then uh, I you know, said my goodbyes and I, I turned to leave and he called me back to his bed and he asked me if I would just sit and hold his hand. And I did. And I sat and held his hand and he didn't talk. And I just sat with him holding his hand until he fell asleep. And that one experience changed my entire life. And it taught me more about, about my faith. And it gave me an understanding of my faith um, that was far deeper than, than, than anything before. It was a pivotal moment for me. And, um, and I was there when, when he died. I was there when he took his last breath. Of all of the, the rich, wonderful experiences, I would say that that, that Wednesday evening um, stands out. And it was all because mother told me, you will come.